Alright, yo what's up guys, this is Myth Texture, and today I'm going to be bringing guys a brand new video. Today I'm going to try to relatively do this in one cut, just because I'm getting kind of lazy. Now, but for real though, I just want to kind of do this in one cut, I'm going to tell a whole story of my diabetes, like how everything came about, how I got diagnosed and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Uh, the day is mm, November 29th, um, 2015. I am 13 years old, and this isn't today, this is when I got diagnosed, this is, I'm like, I'm going back there, okay, that, put the setting right here, November 29th, 2015, um, I was 13 years old, and, uh, I was feeling a little disgusting, a little gross, if you've ever, like, um, stayed up all night, and then got up, like, slept through the whole day, and, like, woke up late, and you feel like your day is whole wasted, like, the whole day is wasted, that's what I felt like, weeks at a time and like it was just getting bad and i was playing basketball at the time so it was making it even worse because i was like always active and sweating and running and stuff like that so like it just made it really bad um so i i'm pretty i was a pretty active kid um i never really played a lot of video games and it kind of um I don't know, it changed really fast, but okay, we're gonna go November 29th, I had a basketball game, it was a Sunday, and um, so I went up to the basketball game, I didn't think I was gonna like, I don't know, I, I felt pretty gross, but at the same time I just thought it was, I wasn't eating right, I thought I wasn't healthy enough, so like, I went up to my game, played my game, didn't play very well, you know, whatever, and then my dad texted my mom said that i need to go into the doctor my parents are divorced so that was like a little weird for me you know how my dad just reached out to my mom and just text him so was, that was a little weird so i was like all right whatever i gotta go to the doctor so i went to the doctor and they did um they pricked my finger and checked my blood and my blood glucose was over 580 and that's really high for uh at the time they thought i was not diabetic so i was diabetic but they just didn't know it so they said that it was type 1 diabetes and if you guys don't know what type 1 diabetes is it is a disease where your body did not does not produce the hormone insulin that is type 1 so just to clear that out that's type 1 and so i got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes um november 20 I mean, november 30th 2015 at the age of 13 I am now, I'm 14 years old now, and yeah, so, like, I got diagnosed, um, and then I had to go to classes and everything, uh, to know how to take insulin, know how to check my blood sugar, know when, when to do what, how to do what, and stuff like that, so since that day, I've been on insulin pump on and off, I've taken shots, um, I've taken over a thousand five hundred shots um it's very stressful but you know what if you ever think about if you have it, have it bad or someone who has it worse so don't dread on the situation you're in i know you're probably not going to take inspirational advice from a 14 year old but you know just don't dread on the situation you're in know that someone has it worse and you know just get through what you have be grateful um I'm not saying I have it worse than you. I don't know your situation. Just know that there's people who care about you. And I've had a lot of people who have helped me through difficult times, difficult, you know, everything. Uh, so I, you know, the main goal in YouTube is to have fun for one. And, you know, me being in the situation I am is to at least inspire one person. So if a 14 year old, grounding diabetic kid can you know do something get out make videos if you want to make videos and you need inspiration you know just look around people have it way worse if you want to do something do it just be grateful for the situation you're in and you know cherish every moment uh, I don't know if there's any more quotes I know no, um, treat every day like it's your last because you don't really know when the next day you're not going to wake up. You know, tomorrow's not guaranteed. So, all I'm saying is be grateful, 
that's my story. Um, it's not really anything special. I'm a, just a normal diabetic kid. Uh, I just, I don't like when people think that I'm different from them because I'm really not. I just have to carry around a little bag and take shots every time I eat. It's whatever. Um, I love you guys. This has been the texture. Peace out. Be positive. I love you all.